What's up guys, so today I'm going to show you how I take my food photos at home. It's so easy, everybody can do it if you have an iPhone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm still ordering Uber Eats because I don't want to shoot only one dish. And I was hungry, real reason. Thank you very much. So anyways, I have all my food and let's get into some good stuff. So this is my lighting, Godox SL60. It's so versatile, it's so cheap and it's so good. I just have to put away some stuff. It's my work desk. Um, just make sure you have a, enough space for a clean shot. The plating is one of the most important thing when you shoot your photos, but I mean, the way they deliver it, I didn't really like it, but still, I just made it work. Depends on the food that you're shooting. If it's a burger like this, make sure uh, you're shooting from uh, the side angle. Make sure all your patties and your meats are there. And when you're actually going to a shooting using your iPhone, make sure always you use the uh, magnified lens no matter what. Regular lens is also fine, but it always gives the best look uh, when you use the magnified glass. It can be a portrait mode, it's the same thing. Uh, just make sure you turn on all the settings that I marked uh, in the screenshot. Other things don't really matter, but make sure you turn that format to most compatible. I mean, this is the whole point of doing the food photos. You want to eat it after. You want to enjoy yourself after. All right, guys. So it is all for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.